I want to be as inclusive as I can with this topic, so anytime I mention parents, that includes foster parents, adopters, step parents, and just guardians in general. Being a parent is probably the most important job in the world, with the least amount of tangible payout. And I don't mean for this to discourage people from having children, but because of this, I see parenting as one of the most difficult jobs to do properly. What's in it for me to become a parent? Will my kids be obedient or be the rebellious type? Are my kids going to take care of me when I'm older like I took care of them as kids? Uh, hopefully. Maybe. But as parents, you can't really have the mindset that your kids owe you. Can you imagine if parents kept tabs on everything they've spent on raising you? <clears throat> Alright son, here's your bill for the past 18 years. Uh, I'll give you 50% off the Xbox since I use it too sometimes. Mm, your main concern would probably be college tuition, the piano lessons, um, oh and your literal birth. I don't know how much that's worth but according to your mother, it really hurt so um, yeah take that into account. No, there is no breaking even. Understand that they will never be able to repay you for giving them life. You can't put a price tag on that. You didn't bring them into this world just so you can guilt them with a debt they didn't ask for. Parenting is about paying it forward. But to you kids watching, hey, hello, pay attention, this doesn't mean you can do whatever the hello you want, okay? I believe a good parent's only concern should be to raise decent human beings to the best of their ability so that they can function on their own. Whatever circumstances led you to have kids, you are responsible for helping them grow in a world they have zero experience with. And who better to trust than the people who've been around longer than they have? Sure, kids can be capable of self-learning, but it doesn't hurt to give them a cheat sheet of things you've learned growing up yourself. And because kids are very impressionable, it's up to you to set a good example for them. Kids often have no choice but to trust that your beliefs and teachings are correct and universal, like cereal first, then milk. Come on. I was at the airport one time waiting at my gate for my flight, and I sat beside this family who had a small daughter. She was getting very restless because the flight wasn't for another hour. Her mood was understandable. I mean, I was bored too. The difference between us is that kids her age likely haven't fully grasped the concept of patience and often need to be doing an activity at all times. She didn't have anything to distract herself, so what else was there to do than bother her mom about why she can't just command the plane to come quicker? But mama wasn't having any of it. She simply told her to shut up and threatened to smack her back. Not her backside specifically, but a reciprocal smack because the mom was getting smacked first. Anyway, it worked. Okay, look, look. I understand kids are ignorant, they can be annoying, but retaliating like that may cause her to stop for now, sure, but it's also influencing her to believe that that's the correct way to solve all problems. Oh my god, a fire! It's okay, don't worry, I have a torch. And on top of that, she still doesn't understand what was wrong with her behavior. She just knows that if she acts that way, she gets her ass beat. There was no actual lesson learned, only behavioral conditioning. If there's one thing kids need a lot of answers to, it's to the question, why? In a past video, I talked about people growing old but not growing up, and it's a shame when those people try to be parents because they'll probably raise their kids with the same immaturity that they fail to grow out of. It's just children raising children. <laughs> what I don't understand is when parents try to talk to their three-year-olds like they're fully grown adults. Like I get that you're trying to display to them the kind of maturity that you'd prefer they do, but they're three! <clears throat> Samuel, I do not appreciate the behavior that you are displaying in this public space. If you do not cease these inappropriate actions, I will be forced to neglect you. What? 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 Oh, I do sincerely apologize, mother. I now see the error of my ways. It shan't happen again. Mm. Is that what she expected little Samuel to reply with? I always found it funny when parents and kids fight. Growing up, I'd witness my sisters arguing with my mom or dad, and not to say I haven't argued with them as well, but from my observations, it was just funny, because it's just the same person arguing with themselves. We're literally your kids. Some of your personality and traits gets passed on to us. 
We're probably stubborn because you are as well. And when I noticed this and realized how ironic it was, I feel like I argued with my parents less. Why would I want to argue with myself? No one's ever gonna win. Don't waste your time. Figure it out calmly. As easy as it is to say that you should love your parents unconditionally, and yes, I do love mine, many are undeserving of it. There are terrible parents out there. I get it, there is no fixed guide on how to raise children, but even if your circumstances led you to having kids before you're ready, don't punish them for your lack of preparation. If your kids knew before they were born that you weren't ready yet, they'd be like, uh, hey, um, y you good? Sh should I come back in a few years? Uh, I, I kind of want to be loved and nurtured, so if this is a bad time, I, I don't mind postponing. Parents, please stop neglecting your kids. One of my pet peeves is when parents just unleash their kids in public and set them free to be rabid animals to people around them. I'm carrying bags of groceries. You think I'm going to move out of the way to dodge this 15 pound kid running at me? No, I have a low center of gravity. I ain't budging. Oh, yes, 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 kids need to be protected, but they can't grow up thinking their actions don't have consequences. I'm not telling you to keep your kids on a leash, but that is an option. There's a bunch on Amazon with one day shipping with Prime, just saying. But, you know, maybe teach them some empathy and awareness so they don't have to get clotheslined by my cantaloupes. Regardless of all the misunderstandings I've had with my parents, regardless of all the times I felt they were unfair to me, the bottom line is that they gave me life. Not only in the sense of birth, but they've been my crutches to a world full of the unknown. They weren't perfect, I'm not gonna lie. No parents are. But they're my parents. They raised me to be what they thought a decent human should be like, and opened a lot of doors to privileges and opportunities for me. But a lot of kids out there can't say the same for themselves. Not everyone gets to enjoy the same privileges as you or I have. If you're even able to watch this video, that's a miracle to some kids. And wouldn't it be great if we all had similar chances for the same opportunities? On the 18th of August, I'll be taking part in the ANCOP walk at David Peacock Square in Toronto. ANCOP, or Answering the Cry of the Poor, supports multiple causes for the less fortunate, like child sponsorships, community developments, and humanitarian relief. I invite those of you in the area to join me in the walk. You can register online and donate under Team Domix by clicking the link in the description. And even if you can't make it for the walk, your donations are still greatly appreciated. I'll even be selling some merch and some of the proceeds will go towards helping the underprivileged, like supporting a kid to go to school. Everyone deserves a chance in life. Why not give them a helping hand? 